Hello and welcome to my next video. What I thought we'd do today is have a look at alternatives to paint brushes. There's loads and loads of things around the house that you can use to paint with, um, so it doesn't necessarily have to be paint brushes. They can sometimes work out quite expensive, um, so alternatives are fantastic, particularly um, for the children because they love exploring new textures and new ways to do things. So I've got a number of items that I'm going to talk you through. You can use a paint palette. OK, I think this one was just from the pound shop, so quite affordable. If not, paper plates are ideal because then you don't even have to wash them. You can just pop them straight into the bin. The only thing with paint palettes is they're quite restrictive as to size. So if you want to print with something quite big, the paper plate would probably be better anyway. OK, I've got some little jars. This was just a meat paste jar um, some toilet rolls, kitchen sponges, um, cotton buds. And I've got an empty pot bottle here. OK, um, so I'll show you what I'm going to do with each of them. OK, so let's just move some of these out of the way. Okay. So I'm going to start off with the cotton buds. I think we'll do a tree. Um, the cotton buds make a nice um, pattern for leaves and things. So I'm just going to draw a tree shape. Now I'm doing this upside down. So let's hope it looks vaguely like a tree. There we go. So there's your tree pattern. I'm going to pop some green paint into the palette like that there we go and then use the cotton buds okay when you put them together have a bundle together put an elastic band around but make sure these are fairly level otherwise you're not going to get um, all of them printed onto the paper okay so i don't think i want them overloaded with paint so i'm just knocking a little bit off in the palette in the segment in the palette to the side oh look at that that looks great. Just finish our tree off. And there's our tree. Gives a really nice finish. So that's the cotton buds. Let's just pop those there out of the way. Let's move our tree out of the way. I'm going to use a similar technique, um, but I'm going to use the pot bottle. So I think for this one, I'm going to do some blossom on a branch. OK, so we first of all need to draw our branch. I'm going to do this one facing me and then I'll turn it round so I can see what I'm doing. There we go. So those are our tree branches. And because I'm going to use the pot bottle for this, I'm just going to move the paint palette out of the way for a minute. And I'm going to use one of the paper plates. I'm going to use a combination of orange and yellow. Use whatever colour paints you've got. I think at the moment, places like Wilco's and the Pound Shop are open. Um, so it's always worth popping in there, seeing what paints they've got in. OK, so I'm going to use this bottom part of the bottle. OK, now I've seen this, but I've not tried it myself. So let's see what this looks like. So again, don't overload it. Take a little bit off. Oh, that looks quite nice. There we go, perhaps a little bit more paint. There we go. You can use whatever you can find in the house. Kitchen is always a good place to start. Use whatever you want for printing. There we go. How great is that? Excellent. Children are going to have loads of fun doing this. Excellent. So let's just move that one out of the way. I'm going to make sure I don't get any of this paint anywhere. right back there out of the way okay so the next one i'm going to do is i'm going to use a toilet roll okay now you can do two things with this you can either because i'm using black paper i'm going to use white paint and this will show up really nicely 
fantastic for things like fireworks you can also use the oranges yellows bright colors that sort of thing okay so let's just spread this out a little bit so you can either use the toilet roll to make a circle like that or the other thing i've done is i've cut it down okay so about halfway really really thin strips okay we're just going to fold these out lay it on here so we can fold it out properly there we go i think i'm just going to need actually i can use that let's pop a little bit more white paint on here And then we're going to pop it in the paint. Now, to make sure they're all in, just use something to make sure that you've got all the ends of the toilet roll in there. Okay. Make sure the ones fit in nicely. Right, let's see what this does. There we go. And pop it onto your paper. Oh, how fab is that? It looks a little bit like a dandelion clock. Um, so you can do this. You can make these strips smaller if you want to. You can make them um, wider. It's entirely up to you how you want it. That gives us a really nice finish. Really like that one. Okay. Let's move that one out of the way. Okay. On with our next little technique. So the next one I'm going to do, let's find the space to put all these next one i'm going to do is i'm going to use the jar okay just need to find the rest of my paper there we go let's bring the paint palette back in the same way that we did with the um toilet roll just going to pop some paint in here there we go and then we can put the glass jar in there make sure it's all covered excellent this would be really good making a caterpillar there we go so our caterpillar just needs an eye you can see that a mouth and two little antennae. There we go. That's that one. One last one I want to show you is using a kitchen sponge. Now there's a number of things we can do with this. We can either use it whole, and don't forget we've got two different textures here, or we can cut it into shapes. Let's cut this one just into a little strip. There we go. Um, let's pop some orange paint in here, I think. So, okay, there we go. So, we can make bricks. We can do do it lengthwise. So, longer bricks. We could do all sorts with that. Um, Kitchen sponge is really cheap to buy. You can get a pack of 10, I think, from the pound shop, something like that. And you can make all sorts of shapes and sizes with them. The other thing we can do is cut them into shapes. Now, I've cut this one into a heart. Let's see if this one's going to work as well. Make sure it's all covered. There we go. And there's a heart shape. excellent there's loads and loads of things you can use to print and paint with you could use the cotton buds singly as a paintbrush so you, you, know, you could do some fine lines with them um you can cut the sp sponges into different shapes you could um cut the uh, print with um corks or anything like that anything you can get your hands on um you can make shapes out of cardboard boxes anything you want really 
Um, it's just a case of finding something to keep the children entertained. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you can join me again soon. Bye bye.